<laughs> oh, absolute swamp. Hello. Hello. We are Filkins Drift, a folk duo from Cardiff and Gloucestershire. And we've decided to make our next tour more sustainable. So we're walking all 870 miles of the Wales coast path. We're playing over 45 concerts and we'll be meeting some inspiring artists and community leaders along the way. And the start of a new week. What a glorious morning to be starting on. This is unbelievable. I'm hoping we might dry out by the end of this week. It's a glorious sunny day, but I still smell of damp somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it just emanates from the pores of my skin at this point. Freddy's on the mend. He's having a final rest day. What we hope is a final rest day. Uh, he's kindly being picked up. Wow, there's a chuff there. Morning, Chuff. Wow. That's the closest we've seen one of those for ages. Freddy, yeah, Freddy's being kindly picked up from where we were staying by our videographer, Alex. Hi, Alex. Who's, uh, <laughs> yeah, taken Freddy under his, under his camera-like wing <laughs> and serving him cups of tea. Yeah, I, th I think I think Freddy should be better by tomorrow. He uh, he's nearly there today, but it's an 18-mile hilly walk today, so it's better to sort of be fully rested and recovered before launching straight back in. <laughs> and we had a lovely gig last night in Kutch, and Mike made some amazing Japanese food for us before the gig. That was set us in a great mood. You could only fit what there were like 25, 30 people in there, but quality people. Really quality people. They say that apparently walking down these little steps to the chapel cut out of the hillside, it'll always be a different number of steps going down from coming up. Oh, I should have counted. I should have counted, I know. <laughs> and someone was saying, I can't remember exactly which denomination it was, but this was built when one denomination of Christianity was being particularly persecuted by the other. So they built it here so that no one would know that they were having these secret services. It feels so much bigger on the inside than it looks from the outside. This is amazing. So, why aren't we doing a gig in here? That's what I mean, we could do. <laughs> Impromptu. So we're looking back on Tenby, where the museum was last night. In fact, I think it's that, it's that building. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's right out on the, on the headland there. And Freddy's back! I'm back. <laughs> He's alive! Back to full strength. Spork and hats reunited 
with uh, restored body. Restored body, restored snack pocket <laughs> in my bag, which is always good. Yeah, I'm all good. Ready. <laughs> good to Ready. be back for the, uh, the last day of Pembrokeshire as well, which is yeah. a momentous occasion. Of course, it, uh, how many days since we started? God, I mean, it's been basically two weeks, I think. After today, we would have climbed Mount Everest. Yeah, probably maybe, for the second maybe time. Maybe this is it. This is the summit. This, yeah. Wow, <laughs> let's see. I think we just spotted the end of the Pembrokeshire Coast Path mosaic. Is that it, Freddie? Wow. Hey. Oh, hey, yeah. Hey. Good. All right, carry on. <laughs> on to the next bit. <laughs> So we've just got to this evening's venue, this beautiful church. It was a bit of a push to get here today, to be honest. It was quite a long way. And as you can see, or maybe see, the sun's coming down. It's quite an early gig today. But actually, there's no one here. So it's time for a sneaky sausage roll. Produced. And this is uh, <laughs> this is where Dylan Thomas is buried. Somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe he's that one in the. He's a he's. Someone said he's quite a distinguishable white one. It's quite a simple white cross. Someone showed me a photo of it. Yeah, these nights are kind of drawing in now as we get further around the year into, uh, into winter, it does make me wonder whether there'll be some dark walking going on by the time it's Halloween. Yeah, because the clocks go back as well, don't they, at some point? <laughs> Well, no sign of Dylan. Time is it like quarter past eight? Quarter past eight. It's our earliest start since day one or two, I think. <laughs> oh yeah. And it's a crisp autumn day. You can feel the bite in the air. It's quite lovely actually. It's really nice. We should maybe do this on morning thing a bit more. Yeah, <laughs> if we left this early every day, we wouldn't be such a rush. <laughs> but actually it worked out very well today. As the kind people that were putting us up had to had to leave early anyway. So it kind of gave us a kick out of bed. <laughs> and it is gorgeous. I mean, yeah. I'm very in line, which is where Dylan Thomas, I can't remember if he lived here, but certainly he wrote Under Milk Wood here. And, and there's quite a contrast. We're about to come up to like the quiet sort of serenity of his boathouse where he wrote that, wrote Under Milk Wood. Um, but we've just passed the Dylan Coastal Resort, which feels like it's really 
jumping on a train. No, this is not the boathouse. But this is where he wrote. This is the garage belonging to the boathouse. Ah, that's so funny because this is so like, this is what I recognize as well. But this is where he wrote it. So this is, this is exactly yeah, where, this he is where he wrote. It. But and it's wrote not in the garage. Boat house. Right, well the boathouse is further along the path. Well, let's go to the boathouse. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, much like the grave of Dylan that we couldn't find, the boathouse is closed. <laughs> He's such an elusive character. <laughs> So having left Pembrokeshire, we're um, a lot easier going today. There's a fair bit of road, which we've just been uh, crossing along. Got a bit of boardwalk here. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I can't go any further. It's like ice. It's so slippy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Push him up! Yeah. <laughs> you can't, I can pull you. <laughs> So it's well, much easier going in a uh, pointlessly hard. hard. <laughs> <laughs> Battling along this it's the estuary where we were this morning with just that woody bit there. But we've made very slow progress over the last half a mile in this field. It's really tough going. It's very wet. We can't really wet. move anywhere. There's lots of washed up detritus to use as stepping stones. But really difficult. Kind of pathfinding here. Good. It's so deep. The cows were walking in it, and you can see on their legs that they were <laughs> like all you could see of the cow was a body just sticking out of this <laughs> cesspit. <laughs> like a bridge. What about to dry land over there, well, and then use it again to cross to, to cross the pit? Oh, yeah, I wonder how. Oh, it's so... And there's less and less wood from here on it as well. And there's a cow directly in front of the gate that we're trying to get. Here? Oh, God. Oh. I'm not sure that didn't alarm the cows at all. Oh, sugar! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, it's so deep in there. Oh God. Look at that. It's an absolute swamp. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Um, Wales Coast Path. Please, could we have a boardwalk <laughs> in this location? That would be very much appreciated. Or a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> We've just set off from Clan Stefan and we're heading to Camarden today. The big town. The big city, the big smoke. <laughs> <laughs> it's only nine mile walk today. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be the lowest miles we've got for the rest of tour now. Yeah, so enjoy it. Enjoy it when it lasts. And the latest guitar and guitar case drama oh. is we've got a bit of rippage here from nice. the waist strap being tight. It's no longer waterproof at all. 
well in that bit and it's uh that means the waist strap is again useless but it's knackering the old shoulders <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the most perilous <laughs> building we've done <laughs> why are you so high up <laughs> i know i'm out of the bog and now it's <laughs> dry now but yeah so that is one of the jobs that we're going to try and get done this afternoon in command because we basically got an afternoon off so we're going to find a a cobbler or some sort of someone who knows how to sew who <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can anyone. fix chris's bag oh. Oh, so we just walked essentially well that's where we started yesterday walk. Hang on, where is that? That's Clan Stefan. That's, no that's way. the church where we played yesterday. Why can't we just not yesterday. dip across the middle? Oh yeah, not yesterday. The day be the day Yeah, the day before. Two days ago. God. Is we went so Burning so far. And it was just right there all along. And I spoke to some people who said that they have walked across here in low tide in the summer, but even then the the water was so strong they got knocked off and just got like washed away a little bit. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's but nice. it looks so easy, doesn't it, from here? Yeah. Even now. It's been a bit of a funny route this morning, but I've actually been enjoying it because we've been going along the old canal for quite a lot of the way. It was a canal that went to Kidwelly to bring all the coal. And then obviously they decided railway was the better way to do things. So instead of building a rail path, they just filled in half the canal and replaced it with railway. And then now, it's been uh, turned into a cycle track. There's been three, three little iterations there. But yeah, different perspective going inland. Haven't seen very much coast today, but there we go. I'm sure we will later. I know some people ask us how we get these lovely aerial shots. Well, this here is Alex. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> who, um, who's doing our filming and editing as we go and currently soaring the drone. <laughs> Alex comes and visits sometimes. But... <laughs> God, it's so weird. It's like a little robot. Thank you. 
Ah, oh, so we've just made it here to Llanelli Wetland Centre where we're doing our first ever gig in a wetland centre. Yeah. Oh, my, my first gig in a it's wetland centre. It's my first gig in a wetland centre. Here we yeah. go. It's very exciting. It's going to be beautiful. We're, we're get, we've just seen where we're performing. Going to be looking out over the, uh, the marshes. Going to be quite a backdrop. Yeah, definitely. And I was like racking my brain for any sort of bird related tunes that we've got. Uh, yeah. All I can think we've got, that's the curly reel. Yeah, let's that's, play that. Yeah. yeah. There must be curlews here. We can, we can ask someone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would highly recommend the cafe as well. We just had a lovely vegan lasagna. Yeah, it was amazing actually. So let's have a look round. <laughs> Seven now. Time is uh, time slipping away. It's, getting, it's approaching the end times. But the very lovely man we were staying with this morning said, told us that we've just got 11 days left now. Which seems insane. 150 miles. Which is, in the grand scheme of things, not very much. No, 150 miles. That's, that's nothing for us now. <laughs> Do you think your leg can hold out 150 miles, Freddie? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Pole and eyeproof and gel will be fine. <laughs> Held together. <clears throat> this area, it's been so stunning actually, hasn't it? It's been pretty boggy. But just all this flatland is amazing. And not really something that we've had yet. Yeah. So we're just walking out of the wetland centre where we did a lovely gig last night 
and we're just coming to the end of their 450 acres of wetland land. <laughs> About to head on to what you can see over there, which is the Gower. Yeah, it's been a bit of a bitty week and we had fear of most of this week we had no accommodation lined up, which was a scary time at the start of the week. But really, there's some incredibly kind and generous and lovely people out there. So thank you so much. My favourite was we've got everything until last night lined up. Um, on Sunday, we put out a little post. We're sitting in the pub just pre-gig, put out a post on social media saying, does anyone know anywhere? anyone in Shlanashley. And then literally 10 minutes later, this couple walk in and go, hi guys, we just had the, heard you on the radio last night. We're from Shlanashley. We're yeah. like, great, can we stay at your house? <laughs> uh, yeah, it worked out very well. Uh, and yeah, I sort of know this area as well. So it's like, I, I had faith that the good people around here would become good and put us up, so. Sure enough. So on to the final week now. Wow, yeah, this is going to be the final week. I don't have much more to say on that. 